Now, we'll talk about variables and data types. So, let's first understand what are the variables. Think of variables as containers that store data in your program's memory. Just like you label boxes when moving house to know what's inside, in c -sharp we give our variables names and types. Each variable needs three things, a type, a name, and a value. Here, string is the data type, message is the variable name, and hello world is the value. Variables can change their values during the program, that's why they're called variables. You can also declare a variable first and assign its value later. Like here, we declared the integer type variable named score first and assigned the value to it later. Now, let's talk about data types. c -sharp has several fundamental data types you'll use regularly. Let's look at each one. First data type is integers. Integer type is used to store whole numbers. Range of integer data type is from negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion. It is perfect for ages, counts, or scores. Next comes the long data type. Long type stores the very large whole numbers. It is used when integer type is not sufficient to handle the calculations. Next comes the float data type. Float data type is used for fractional numbers. The precision of float type is from 6 to 9 digits. To assign value to float variables, you must put letter F at the end of the value. Next comes the double data type. Double handles decimal numbers with high precision. Double variables have a precision of about 15 digits. It is safer to use double for most calculations and measurements. To assign values to double variable, you can put letter D at the end of the value. However, you can skip this one. Next comes the decimal data type. Decimal is specifically designed for financial calculations, ensuring precise decimal arithmetic. The precision of decimal type is from 28 to 29 digits. Next comes the string data type. String is used to store the text. It can handle anything from a single letter to long paragraphs. Next comes the Boolean data type. Boolean data type only handle the true and false. It is used in yes or no conditions. Now, let's talk about type conversion and casting. Sometimes you need to convert data from one type to another. c -sharp provides several ways to do this. First is implicit type conversion. Implicit conversion happens automatically when there's no risk of data loss. Like, this integer value can be converted to double type easily without losing any data. Next is explicit type conversion. Explicit conversion or casting is when you force a conversion that might lose data. Like, here we are converting double value to int type. In this method, fractional data is lost and only 99 will be stored in rounded price variable. We can also convert integer or double type value to string type using to string method. Now let's talk about constants. Sometimes you want values that never change, that's where constants come in. We use the const keyword for values that should stay fixed throughout your program. Constants must be assigned a value when declared, and that value can never change. They're great for configuration values or mathematical constants. Also, it is good practice to keep constant variables in uppercase letters. Now, let's talk about the var keyword. The var keyword lets c figure out the data type automatically based on the value you assign. Remember, var must be initialized when declared, and once the type is set, it can't be changed to store a different type. That's all for this section.